Today in this video, I'm building a cinema rig for the S5 2X with this new Cinerig base from Rigid Pro. This will actually, I think, change the way that you build cinema rigs with these hybrid style cameras. It kind of, I don't know, when I built it earlier, you know, off camera, it kind of felt like I was, uh, you know, holding like a red or something like that. I don't know, it might, you might be kind of impressed with how it looks and how it operates. But this is the Lumix S52 and S52X Cinerig base by Rigid Pro. You can find it down in the description. And I'm just gonna show you this thing real quick. Unbox it, super fast. This is what the base looks like right here. So it's kind of just a backing that the V-mount battery attaches to. And you got some cords and screws in here. Get rid of the box. I'm gonna dump all these screws out just so I have them accessible. Then it also comes with a D-tap USB-C cord if you need it to charge your S52X while it's you know on the mount here. I'm gonna be using a dummy battery. So let's just attach the backing. I'm using the S52X with the 85 millimeter S prime. Um, with my map box mount on there. First thing you're gonna wanna do though is flip out this screen because the screen actually stays off to the side. Oh, first thing though, first thing before I actually put it on, you wanna take this little gold adapter and you just wanna put it right into this thread, this little bit thicker thread right here. All right, now that we have that attached, now we can put this backing on, the Cinerig backing. And like I said, make sure that screen is off to the side because it's like a felt little padding right here. So it's gonna be nice and soft landing for that screen. But I'm just gonna speed up the video here and put all these little screws in. There's like three that go on top and one that goes on the bottom. But we don't need to, you know, watch a whole lot of these screws going in. It's not super appealing. All right, so now you can kind of see the, you know, the Ridge Pro backing on here, how the screen just kind of lays off to the side. It gives it a real like cinema camera feel to it, honestly. You know, you're still shooting with these Lumix cameras, they're hybrid systems, but this gives it a real like nice cinema camera look and feel and might be kind of impressive if you take it on set. Next thing I'm gonna do is just put on the map box before we get too heavy on some of these things. So I'm just gonna toss on this Freewell map box that I'm using and I actually have a whole video about this map box if you wanna go check it out. I just wanted to get that map box on before you know the rig got too heavy to put it on. I'm gonna put the side handle on. I'm using the small rig wooden side handle. And I actually like using a side handle a little bit more than a top handle. So this rig is really starting to take shape and I'm just gonna pop on the small rig 99. So that just pops on right there. And one of the things with, you know, the smaller lens on the front that I'm using on this rig, I just like, you know, kind of a compact feel to the lenses. You might wanna put, put on like a bigger lens or something like that, that just might kind of you know, balance the the rig just a little bit, or if you use a top handle. So right now it's a little back heavy just with that V-mount battery on there. I am gonna be tossing on a monitor here, which will kind of help, you know, with that front weight on my particular rig. So for this one, I'm just tossing on the Atomus Ninja 5. And I'm actually going to, while I have it on here, I'm gonna toss on this follow focus mount as well while I'm kind of working on the top here. All right, like I said, I'm gonna be using this small rig wooden follow focus. I have an extra wheel grip here on the lens that you know doesn't come with the lens, but you can get them. Small rig sells them. You just get the size of whatever your lens is and then it'll fit right on there. All right, I got follow focus so I can, you know, pull focus if I have to do any any manual focusing. You know, with the S52X, it is it is like a, it is an excellent autofocus camera, so you don't necessarily need to have a follow focus, but for the purpose of this video and building out this rig, I thought it'd be fun to toss on a follow focus just because I love how it looks. All right, I think I have everything. Maybe I'll mount the SSD drive here. So I think I'm just gonna go like right on the top with this, kind of a nice flat lay almost. So I've got this, uh, Magic Rig SSD mount 
And I think I'm just gonna mount it right here. And that screw is actually kind of stripping a little bit. I might need to get a different screw on there. So I'm using the T7 Shield, the Samsung T7 Shield, and I wonder if I should run it through. Run it through here. Oh yeah, that'll work. I think this pop, my fingernails are so short. I can't pop these things open. We'll run that cord like that. Get the HDMI plugged in. I'm liking this so far. Now, what we have to do is like power everything. So like I said, I'm using the dummy battery for the S52X and Condor Blue sells these and you know, Condor Blue systems, accessories, they're fantastic. And so this is D-Tap right here. So what we can do is plug that right into the cinema rig backing there. And I will have all of these accessories, you know, down in the description if you want to check any of these things out. But that will now power my camera, S52X, and it will also power the Ninja. And again, this is the same thing. I'm just gonna go right into DTAP power here. And I'm liking the feel of that, I'm liking where everything's going. I don't necessarily need this cord right now because I'm not gonna be powering it USB-C. I'm recording USB-C. So there's the rig right there. Now let's power everything up. I'm gonna turn the Rigid Pro on first. Okay, you got some blue lights right here on the side and you kind of see, tell that it's on. It also gives you the, you know, where you're at power wise. I'm going to power on the S52X. And then what I'm gonna do is power on the Atomus Ninja. See that turning on. And the nice thing about this Ridge Pro, you know, setup right here is that I can actually, you know, I'll keep everything, like the camera, I'll, I'll keep the S52X turned on, I'll keep the monitor turned on. This actually has an on off button right here that I can just switch on and off this whole unit. So now it's off. And then I can turn it back on and it will turn the camera on. And unfortunately, I do need to hit the monitor button to turn the monitor back on. Now, a couple things about this Ridge Pro is that it is a little bit noisy. I mean, you also, you have the fan of the Ninja as well as a little bit of noise, almost like a, almost like a buzzing sound. Here, let me see if I can get the mic close enough. So there is just a little bit of noise coming from this rig. But if you are mic'd up, you know, separately, you'll be totally fine. You won't be able to hear anything. If you carry a mic on board, you might start noticing some of those noises coming through. But this is the S52X rigged out with the Rigid Pro Cine backing, Cine base. So this is a great handheld system. For me, I can just kind of lean it up, you know, on my belly. And it really does give this whole rig just a different feel. It makes it feel super solid. I don't know if that's something that you want in a rig. It's not necessarily a minimalist rig. It's not necessarily a simple rig, but it feels good. It looks great. And I think if you show up on set with something like this, I think, you know, that will really impress your clients. Oh, nice camera. That's a great camera. I do need to make a note of this. It is built, this backing, this Rigid Pro backing is built for the small rig Black Mamba cage. So the other cages, if you have like a, a Falcam or uh, some of those other rigs, it might not fit because this is, this Rigid Pro backing, this base is built for the Black Mamba S52X cage. But again, I love the look and I love the feel of this rig. And I think it's a great option for powering and you know, holding some of these accessories. If you have any questions about this Rigid Pro Cinema base for the S52X, let me know down in the comments. We can get a conversation started down there. Now, if you haven't already watched how I set up my S52X to shoot cinematic video, make sure you check out this video that's popping up on your screen right here. I go through all of my settings. They're all there. Just copy them, apply them to your S52 or S52X, and go start shooting video.